The world is watching the Korean Peninsula with nervous apprehension due to sanctions the United Nations passed in response to North Korea's nuclear test. Experts believe that the country is on the brink of collapse and will not last several months. North Korea's answer to the sanctions was that this was a declaration of war. Joining me today is Dr. Alan Hayworth, an expert on North Korean policies. Good morning, Dr. Hayworth. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for having me, Leslie. You lived for several years in Pyongyang and are quite familiar with the North Korean government. Please explain your views on the regime. Well, most of the world, including the White House, doesn't really understand what the regime is all about. It's not your normal, ordinary government. It's a cult with an unstable leader and a lot of brainwashed followers. Which is much more dangerous. A recent survey says that 68% of the American people believe that Kim Jong-il is the most dangerous man in the world. What do you think is likely to happen in the peninsula? Well, cults often take extreme measures and end in disaster. Take, for example, Jim Jones and the People's Temple, uh, David Koresh and the Branch Davidians. A leader will take a crazy or suicidal measure, and it's their followers who pay the ultimate price. Well, that's an unpleasant thought. The U.S. still has about 30,000 troops and 100,000 civilians living in South Korea. It's frightening to think of what could happen. Well, it could be a disaster. I mean, as you know, Seoul is only 50 miles from the DMZ. We know that North Korea has nuclear capabilities and potentially biochemical weapons. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. Okay, let's do a special on this matter in this week's edition. All right, let's uh, come up with some possible scenarios that could potentially occur. We we'll need to contact the State Department and our military liaisons. Great. Let's all make sure that nothing happens before the North Korean regime collapses.엄마, 북한이 곧 붕괴되기를 기대하고 있어요. 그 사악한 사탄의 정권이야. 하나님의 심판으로 붕괴되는 게 당연하다만 그 과정에서 나만을 먼저 연단하시지 않을까 걱정이다. 교계에서 회개 운동이 벌어지고 있지만 아직 미약하다. 네 시숙 대신은 현장로가 애쓰고 다닌다만 워낙 교회가 세상을 향해 능력을 행사하지 못하니까 사회가 온통 부패와 거짓과 음란 태폐로 망조가 들었어. 북한은 적화통일 야역에 아직도 눈이 멀어 있는데 남한은 
안보 불감증에 걸려서 무슨 뭐 평화통일이라도 된것 같이 아주 혼란스러워. 웬만하면 다니엘도 데려가. 이것도 심상치 않아. 응? 알았어요, 엄마. 또 전화할게요. 응. 어, 나야. 지금 막 사무실을 정리하던 중이었어. 어. 원장님께도 재정 통보를 해드렸고. But you're the man of the house. Going on a long-term mission like this, I don't think that's God's will. It just doesn't make any sense. And we've been such good Christians. I don't understand. 제발 다시 한 번만 생각해보세요. 내가 의료인으로 직업을 택한 건 돌이켜보면 너무나도 잘했다는 생각이 들어. 목숨을 걸고 국경을 건너온 그 비참한 탈북자들을 내가 한 의사로서 돌볼 수 있다는 것은 하나님이 내게 주신 축복이라고 늘 감사히 여기고 있어. 육신의 생명뿐만 아니라 영혼까지도 영원한 생명으로 인도할 수 있는 그 귀중한 사명을 한 인간으로서 같은 피를 나눈 민족으로서 한 의료인으로서 한 신앙인으로 도저히 외면할 수가 없어 예수님은 성자 하나님이시고 우주 만물의 중심이시며 주인이시고 왕이십니다. 그 성자 하나님 자신이 이 세상의 육신으로 오셔서 이 세상과 인류의 모든 죄를 대속하여 주셨습니다. 예수님을 믿고 영접하게 되면은 영원히 구원을 받고 여러분들이 천국에서 영생을 누리게 됩니다. 이놈 이제야 앞잡이 돼. 봉대를 봐야 알겠나? 우리 놈이들은 이제 도 시키면 이 빠도 새끼. 어서 가자 우리 간나새끼. special treat every Saturday. Oh, it's my pleasure. I made you Korean food today. I hope it brings back wonderful memories of your time in Korea. I'm sure it will. Oh, my favorite seaweed soup and kimchi, too. Mm. Well, you have to be strong and healthy before the Lord returns, Eileen. Yes, it's near. All the media is talking about the Da Vinci Code, you know? What a blasphemy to the Creator. And I read in Thessalonians this morning that a strong delusion shall be allowed to those of unrighteousness so that they'll be judged. I know, I know, I mean... It seems like the world is getting darker and darker. How is Korea? 
Well, the people there, they seem confused. And, and I believe there's going to be another trial of war in the Korean Peninsula. God wants to purify the Korean churches and make them solid like gold to use them in a very important way. I remember seeing my dad praying all night in agony just before he was martyred. He asked the Lord, Is it really your will I give my life for these people? And the Lord answered, Yes, Korea will be the last runner of the gospel at the end time. That's how Dad had the courage to be martyred. I'm sure your grandfather had a same assurance from the Lord to be martyred. Eileen, their blood shed on our soil will not be in vain. Sanit, 그동안 예수 잘 믿어 축복받았다고 오만했었는데 그게 아니더라고요. 십자가에서 죽기까지 낮아지는 게 주님의 뜻임을 깨달았어요. 동생에게는 아직 좋은 소식이 없습니까? 제수 씨가 워싱턴에서 계속 석방을 위해 백박으로 뛰고 있지만은 북한이 붕괴되기까지는 희망이 없어 보여요. 북한이 붕괴되기 전에 먼저 우리가 연단을 받게 될까 심히 염려가 됩니다. 북한의 핵심 사태가 무엇을 의미합니까? 하나님의 엄한 경고라고 나는 생각을 합니다. 요즘 교계에서 회개의 불길이 일어나고 있지만 문제는 지식이 없어 망한다는 호세야 말씀처럼 무엇을 왜 회개를 해야 하는지를 정확하게 깨달은 것이 순서라고 여겨집니다. 이 문제에 대해 가르침이 필요합니다. 하나님께서는 우리 민족을 제사장 민족으로 택하셨다는 것을 알아야 합니다. 그런데 우리 한국 교회가 제사장 민족다운 정결하고도 거룩한 산 제사를 드리고 있는가 하는 것이 문제입니다. 예수를 잘 믿고 선교의 열정을 가지고 있지만 한편에서는 세상에 빠져서 세상과 타협을 하는 부정한 제사를 드리지 않는가 그래서 하나님은 한국 교회를 정결하고 거룩하게 온전한 영으로 연달하실 뜻이 계신 것이군요 문제는 요나처럼 폭풍의 바다에 던져져서 수월의 뱃속에 갇히기 전에 뜨거운 마음으로 회개하고 하나님 앞으로 돌아와야 한다는 것입니다. 시급한 상황이군요. 그렇습니다. 하나님은 적당히 넘어가시는 분이 아니십니다. 우리가 철저하게 회개하고 돌아오기만 한다면 성령의 권능에 사로잡혀서 초자연적인 역사가 이루어질 것입니다. 사실 우리 한국교회는 이 처절한 영적 전쟁이 벌어지는 현실을 실감하지 못하고 있는 게 약점입니다. 요즘 교계에서는 평양 대부흥 100주년이 준비되고 있습니다만 단순한 행사가 아닌 진정한 회계운동이 일어나야 할 것입니다. 현장로랑 우리 모두가 일에 앞장서도록 하십시다. 이 민족이 살 길은 오직 이길 뿐입니다. 알겠습니다, 목사님. 
실험으로 야기된 한반도의 위경은 결코 인간의 방법과 힘과 노력으로 해결되지 않습니다. 사탄 마귀와의 싸움이며 영적인 문제 전쟁으로서 하나님만이 해결해 주실 수 있는 유일한 방법이고 하나님께서는 한 가지 전제 조건을 제시하고 계십니다. 모두가 회개하고 돌아오라고 하는 것입니다. 하나님이 결코 타협할 수 없는 절대의 전능자이심으로 이 전제 조건이 해결되지 않을 때 북한의 핵사태는 민족적인 대재앙으로 이어질 수밖에 없습니다. 이스라엘 백성이 회개하지 않을 때 하나님의 거룩한 성전은 파괴되었고 그들은 전 세계를 흩어져서 600만 명 이상 학살당하는 비참한 비극을 당했습니다. 그런데 사도바울은 오늘 로마서에서 우리에게 말하기를 원가지들도 아끼지 아니하셨는데 너희도 아끼지 아니하시리라고 경고하고 있습니다. 우리에게도 민족적인 대재앙이 현실로 나타날 수 있음을 경고하는 말씀입니다. How's everything going today? Everything's fine, thank you. Good. Someone on the phone for you. Um, he says he's a Japanese documentary filmmaker. So, Watanabe. Is it Oto Watanabe? Watanabe. Yeah. He's a well-known social documentary filmmaker. I met him a few months ago at a State Department party. He says he's got some important information for you. He's on line one. Thank you. Hello, Esther. It's Watanabe. Thank you for taking my call. Look, I know how busy you are, but I have something urgent to discuss with you, and I was really hoping that we could have a meeting sometime very soon. Why, sure. Um, shall we say 10 o'clock tomorrow morning at Antique Cafe? Gentlemen, if I can have your attention briefly. Thank you so much. I really wanted to thank you for coming out this afternoon. I hope you enjoy the food. It's Korean food, your favorite, right? It looks really good. And uh, we just, this is just a small token of our appreciation. We really wanted to honor you today. And thank you for all the sacrifice that you've made over the years. Um, I know that some of you are, are very concerned and worried about the growing amount of uh, anti-American movement that's taking place in Korea right now. But we, we, uh, we feel that it is really a result of the growing influence of evil in the world. And I can assure you that a majority of Koreans, including myself, we will never forget what you have done and the sacrifices that you have made during the war. So thank you very much. Please enjoy your time, and uh, we'll fellowship and hang out. Sounds good? Take care. How's the food? Is it okay? It's really good. It's kind of spicy. Be careful. Yeah, just be careful. Thanks for coming. Just like home. Just like home, really? <laughs> Thank you for inviting me, Minister Yoon. Thank you for coming, Colonel. Oh, well, I don't know if I'm inspired by the Holy Spirit or not, but one thing I am sure of, I will introduce you to my dear and personal friend, Senator Anderson. Oh, wow. I, I would be honored to meet him. Um, are you sure he has time to see someone like me? Oh, well, he's very down to earth, and he loves meeting faithful Christians like you. <laughs> well, I know the Holy Spirit moves the way he wants to, so if it's his will, I know it'll happen. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll be in contact. Sounds great. Thank you. Thank you, Colonel. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Hi. Thank you for coming. You're welcome. It's so nice to meet you. Good to see you. Please have a seat. Thank you. So how are you? I'm managing. Yeah, you look good. Thank you. So do you. Thanks. Well, <laughs> we know what we want. Uh, I'll get a green tea shake and a tiramisu. And I'll have a double green tea shake and a tiramisu. Thank you. Thank you. So, what's this important matter you wish to discuss? You aren't going to ask me to be in your film, are you? No, no. I'm working on a film, but it's not about social issues. It's about a darkest conspiracy of human history. The darkest conspiracy? Have you ever heard of the New World Order? I'm not sure. 
Since ancient times, there have been several powerful secret societies, and their main purpose has been to rule the earth through the use of one world organization under the new world order. And, and they achieve these goals by creating conflict and, and chaos and confrontation and, and uh, violence and wars and destruction. And they've been very successful throughout history. And right now they're in the final stages of achieving their goal. I don't quite understand why you're telling me all of this. They're not just taking over America, but also Korea, Japan, many other countries. If they achieve their destiny, all humans will become slaves like, like cattle under their rule. But how could this be possible? Through the use of implantation of a biochip embedded under the skin, they can manipulate and control that person and eventually mankind. This implantation is, is advertised widely and actually being used in some countries now. I've heard of this implant system. I've been suspicious of it. Soon the world's economies will collapse and wars are going to break out and, and eventually World War III. And through this destruction and chaos, this organization will finally be able to establish a new world government. The time is near. But isn't the United Nations also pursuing the same goal of a new world order? The UN is merely a puppet. They, they use it as a front. Do you have any proof to back up your claims? This is it. The other day, I had an interview with Mr. Bullington. So the Bullington found the tragedy in this country. Approaching me, what can I do? We should expose their plans and their identities to save your your people, to save my people, to save the world. We're the last and only hope. All right, I'll check into it and I'll get back to you. Thank you, and please remember, time is limited. Sir, the minister has arrived. Oh, excellent. <laughs> ah. Welcome, Minister Yoon. Senator, it's an honor to meet you. Thank you so much for seeing me. It's good to meet you, too. Please, join me for lunch. Oh, great, yes. May I take your jacket, sir? Oh, ah, yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Yes. Come this way, minister. <laughs> so, please, uh, have a seat. Thank you. So... <clears throat> Colonel Douglas recommended you highly. Oh, that's very flattering. I understand that you have much knowledge in eschatology, too. I do, I do. I believe the Bible's called us to be ready and be prepared at the end times. That is so true. As America has been turning away from the words of God, there has been a great downfall. You know, 9-11 was allowed for the repentance. But America, she just didn't get it. And she's falling deeper into betrayal. Ultimately, America will fall and become a modern Babylon. I see the forces of evil rising up in this world, Senator. What about here, in the states, in the government? Well, the forces to set up a one-world government have been trying relentlessly to bring down America. 
many influential people have already implemented a biochip in their flesh. Mm. Senator, who do you think the Antichrist is? I'm not sure yet. But I know he's ready to appear soon. And yet the church is still asleep. Unfortunately, Minister. Well, Senator, let me ask you another question. What do you think will happen to Korea in the near future? Well, <clears throat> Satan knows that Korea will play a critical role for the kingdom of heaven. It is quite possible that she will be fiercely attacked and she will be surrounded by many enemies. Now she will be completely isolated and she'll be put into a position where she can only depend on the Lord. And Korea, unlike America, will totally repent. And she will be used, most importantly, by God. So the key is repentance. Yes, everyone fails. And only those that have the courage to repent will be victorious. Is it true that here in the States, the church is already facing persecution? Yes, but very subtle for now. But soon, it'll become more conspicuous. That's why it's very important for the true church of America and Korea to set up a network where they can cooperate with one another and the Messianic Jews as well. You see, they are the true warriors of the Lord. Do you have any fellowships with them? No, not yet, but I do realize their importance. Good. Uh, then I will put you in contact with the right people. Thank you, Senator. I'd appreciate that. Mr. Tom Collins, this is Esther Min with the Washington Korean Journal. I don't know if you remember me or not, but I used to stop by the American Cultural Center in Seoul when I used to work there. I have somewhat of an important matter that I need your help on. Can you please give me a call back? Thank you. Thank you. 
당당하게 핵보유국이 됐다 이 말이야요. 그러니까 이 세상 그 어떤 나라도 우리 공화국을 어신명일 수 있는 나라는 하나도 없다 이 말입니다. 현 선생, 우린 남조선을 해동시킬 준비가 다 되어 있습니다. 지도자 동지의 명령 한마디만 들어주면 하룻밤 사이에 남조선을 탁탁 뒤집어 엎을 수가 있습니다. 그리고 남은 남하고 구석구석까지 거미줄처럼 땅굴이 파져 있어서 한 번에 30만 정권이 진급할 수가 있어요. 남방고 청년 학생들과 노동자들 300만이 이미 호섭되어 있고 청와부 각 요소요소마다 우리 지도자분들에게 충성을 맹세한 요인들이 구석구석 포진되어 있습니다. 큰그 남조선놈들 말이야요 돈과 향락이 어두워서 썩을 때로 썩어가지고 지금도 말이야요 우리가 큰 소리 한번 치면 말이야요 벌벌 떨면서 조공을 바치듯 우리가 탈라는 대로 몸땅 갖다 바치고 있지 않습니까? 그리고 남조선 인민들이 붉은 악마가 되어가지고 오는 도시가 붉은 깃발과 함성으로 덮여 있는 거 그거 보았디요. 그건 뭐고 하는 말이야요. 우리 붉은 군대들에게 어서 내려오라고 환영하는 깃발과 함성이 아니고 무엇이겠습니까? 남조선은 이미 먹힌 거야요. 그러니까 우리 주도사분들께서 하루아침에 정령군 사령관이 돼가지고서 남조선 땅을 팔길 날고 눈앞에 현실로 나타났다 이 말입니다. 거의 예수님이 이치방이들 말이야요. 50년이 넘도록 허공에다 대고 기도하고 하나님께 빌렸지만 말이야요. 저렇게 지옥실에 갇혀서 꼼짝없이 죽을 날만을 기다리고 있지 않습니까? 50년 동안 강간 무소식이었던 하나님이 있긴 어디에 있단 말입니까? 우리의 위대하신 수령 동지가 하나님이고 지도자 동지가 하나님의 아들입니다. 현 선생 지금까지 내 말을 잘 들었겠지요? 생각할 여유를 드리겠습니다. 지금이라도 우리 해방전선의 동지로서 동참을 하느냐 아니면 지옥시를 택하느냐 잘 판단해서 결정을 하시라요 선생이고요. 아, 이거 차 배웠다는 소리 들었지만, 선생님, 솔직히 오늘은 선생께서 시간을 끝까지 지키라고 생각지 못했는데, 이렇게 소리 아저씨 용서이다. 자야 1년밖에 안 됐지만, 여러분들은 수십 년 동안 이렇게 고생을 하고 계시니, 그 믿음이 정말 대단하십니다. 이곳에서 믿음을 지키고 있는 우리 신앙의 동지들이 얼마나 됩니까? 이 수용소에만 수천 명이 넘는데 전국적으로 수만 명이 넘겠지요. 현 선생, 현 선생은 미국에 살면서 남한 사정을 잘 아니게 말씀 좀 해보시라요. 도대체 이 독한이 이 잔악한 마귀 선악에서 언제쯤 해방될 수 있는 겁니까? 우리 모두 나만의 교회가 영적으로 똑바로 서면 북한이 해방될 수 있다는 응답을 받고 수십 년 동안 우리 믿음으로 배워두고 있시다. 그런데 그 자유롭고 풍족한 환경 속에서 신앙생활을 어떻게 했길래 우리를 해방시켜주지 못하고 대려 마귀가 하나님을 비웃으며 이제 남쪽까지 먹을 지 이렇게 내가 됐습니까? 남쪽까지 참으로 이 덤따라 이름에다 <웃음> 하나님 아버지 이 땅의 황망을 보소서 교회가 말씀에 순종하여 
말씀의 능력으로 세상을 이겨야 함에도 불구하고 빛과 소금의 사명을 감당하지 못함으로 말미암아 이 땅은 대금주의와 집단 이기주의로 팽배하게 되었고 미움과 시기, 대립과 갈등, 불신과 다툼, 거짓과 탐욕의 뿌리가 가득하며 온갖 우상을 숭배하는 어둠으로 터쳤나이다. 교회는 분열되고 가정의 소중함이 상실되며 사회의 윤리도 파괴되면서 경제의 터전이 흔들리는가 하면 정치의 혼란으로 민주 질서마저 무너져 내리고 있나이다. 오 하나님 아버지 우리의 이 죄악을 회개하오니 주님의 보혈을 써주시고 용서하옵소서 사망의 그늘에 앉아 죽어가는 이 백성들을 고통의 망에서 풀어주시며 공유를 베푸시고 이 땅을 고치소서 그리하여 이 땅에 무너진 기초를 다시 싸우며 은혜의 강물이 다시 흐르고 부흥의 불길이 다시 타오르게 하소서 Hi. You do remember me good. Yes, I'm fine. But I do need your help on some information. You're available this evening? Um, okay. Shall we say 7 o'clock at Sheila Restaurant? I'll treat you to some good Korean food. Okay. See you then. Bye. Mr. Yoon. I'm Naomi. Hi, Naomi. Pleasure to meet you. Welcome. Thank you for having me. This is my husband, Jonathan. Jonathan. Hi, I'm Mr. Yoon. Hey, nice to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. It is my privilege to introduce to you a faithful servant of Yeshua, our Lord. I am sure it is the Lord's will that we cooperate at this end time. We would now like to hear a few words from Minister Yoon. Would you please welcome him? Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for having me come share with you. It's an honor to be here. I just briefly want to share from my heart. And I want to start in Romans 11, where Paul uses an analogy to describe the Jewish people and the Gentile church. You see, he talks about an olive tree that's been cut off that represents you. And then he describes a wild olive tree that's been grafted in to that original tree, which describes the Gentile church. I want to speak on behalf of the Gentile church this morning. You see, over the years, even though we've been nourished by you, we've persecuted you. We've judged you. We've pointed the finger at you. I want to ask your forgiveness this morning. Will you please forgive us? I also want to thank you because you have been the ones that have preserved the gospel and the word of God over time. You have been the ones really responsible for ushering the Yeshua, the Messiah. See, I believe one day that same tree that Paul describes in Romans 11 will become one. And we will all together dwell in unity in Yeshua. I look forward to that day. I really do. I look forward to the day where we will all dwell together and partake in His glory and in His kingdom. Thank you. Thank you.
아버지 감사합니다 하나님 제가 의료 성교를 하고 탈북자를 돕는 일을 했습니다 주님 그것만이 사랑으로 알았습니다 결국 저희들이 가장 필요한 것은 진실을 알고 저희들이 책정을 해결을 통해서 함께 나가야 할 말은 이제 깨닫게 되었습니다 하나님 이제 여기 같은 이 믿음의 우리 형제들을 통해서 진실을 알게 되었사오니 이제 저희들이 할 것은 한국결과 회개해서 아직도 저 악의 관세 안에 있는 저 북한 정권이 왜 저렇게 아직도 건재 있는지 주님 한국의 많은 교회들이 회개하게 하시고 그 회개를 통하여서 하나님께서 저 북한 정권을 무너뜨려 주시옵소서 아버지 하나님 진실로 진실로 바라올 것이 이제 남북이 이제 통일협을 앞두고 하나님께 바라올 바는 먼저 우리들이 회개하고 척하는 마음으로 하나님께 회개해야 될 것입니다 I hope this brings back some nice memories of Korea Yes Yes it does I remember those days I remember when you used to stop by the cultural center you used to pick up the magazines Dream of America You know if you didn't start going out with that medical student I'd have proposed to you myself Tom How's your husband by the way? He's still being held captive in North Korea oh, That's horrible I feel extremely sorry for you I really hope that the evil regime will collapse soon so that he can be released Oh it's heading in that direction It won't be long Since you know Korea so well, and since you've been working for the government for so long, I was hoping that you could help me clarify some information that I received. Oh, I'll certainly do my best to help you. Do you know a Japanese documentary filmmaker, Ota Watanabe? I think I've heard the name before. Why? He's currently making a film about the New World Order, and he claims that he obtained top-secret information in the process. What sort of information? Well, he said that from ancient times that there are several secret organizations that, that are pursuing a one world government and they're on the verge of finally taking over the US, Japan, Korea and the rest of the world <laughs> the internet is filled with all sorts of theories from Freemasons, Illuminati, Bill de Berger and so on fortunately they all turn out to be hoaxes as far as I understand the new world order is just a concept created by idealists and Bible freaks it's not an actual system or movement but there's some very detailed information I mean, according to their plans events are in motion as we speak did you see this information yes and what is Mr. Wantanabe going to do with this information he wants to stop their plans by exposing it to the world and in turn saving his country he asked me to join in his efforts so that I can save my country as well what do you want me to do well, since you have a lot of governmental connections, I thought that you could find out whether the information was true or false. I need to know before I decide what to do next. If I knew from what source Mr. Wantanabe obtained his information, it would be very helpful. It seems he obtained the information from the Bullington Foundation. I see. Tell you what. Give me a couple of days. I'm sure I can come up with something. I'll contact you as soon as I find anything. Thank you so much, Tom. I really appreciate this. At last, the dream that has been handed down throughout human history has come to that final stage for our triumph. Ladies and gentlemen, the dawn of our age is here. Just one more world war. Just one. And this world will fall into total chaos. But that's when that world will fall perfectly into our hands. Before we can achieve this final victory, we can show absolutely no mercy. Do you want to stand? Sir, it's from headquarters. Section 64. Yes, sir. 
We got a job to do. Eugene. Have you been watching the news? M Mr. Watanabe and his wife were just killed. Execution style. They're looking for something. I'm sure there's a connection. You have to leave the office now, as well as everybody. Until I say it's okay, do not come back to work. Do you understand? For you this morning, Lord. Please, God, hear my heart this morning, Lord. I call out to you for who you are, not what you do, God. But I ask for mercy, God. I ask for mercy upon your people, Lord. Lord, I know the times are near, Lord. The end time is near, God, but I ask for more time, Lord. Lord, your word says that if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked sins, Lord God, that you will come and you will heal their land, God. Come, heal this land, God. Mr. Yim, this is Esther with the Crane Journal. You carried your article several times in the past, do you remember? Well, a really urgent matter came up. I was wondering if you had any time this morning to meet with me. Yeah, I have some time this morning, sure. Okay. Yeah, I'm an interim minister here at the church. Uh-huh. Um, Zion Church, if you... Okay, great. Would you like something to drink? Uh, water will be fine. Okay, great. You know, I didn't take the messages in your article seriously, but it seems to be happening all around us. Oh, yeah, Esther, we, we are living in the most critical time in history right now. What do you know about the New World Order? Well, I know the New World Order is a system, it's a secret organization that special forces are using to set up a one world government, a one world religion. You know, in, in Revelation it talks about how at the end times Satan is trying to do all he can to stop the Lord's second coming. And one of the ways he's doing that is through organizations like this. I didn't know the words of scripture would become reality like that. <laughs> the scriptures have been proven to be true over time, throughout history. No wonder this world has become so crazy. Esther, let me ask you, are you having any trouble with these secret forces right now? I don't know yet. Do you think they, they could actually be a threat? Well, I know they're extremely dangerous. If you're involved with them, you have to be really careful. Well, what should I do? Well, in Ephesians, Paul talks about how our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. In other words, there's a spiritual battle taking place that we need to fight. And when we fight that, then the things in the natural will fall into place. I don't quite understand. All right, let me, let me explain it another way. 
Things that happen in the natural happen because of spiritual reasons. So when we take care of those spiritual reasons, then those things in the natural will be taken care of. Are you saying then that even in my husband's case, that there was a spiritual reason? Honestly, I, I don't know why those things happened to your husband. I, I can't explain the way that the Lord does things sometimes, but I know it happened for a reason. Just like in Job. You see, the Lord allowed Job to go through what he went through for a higher reason and a greater purpose. Then what's the reason that Korea was divided and not unified for over 50 years? It's, it's, a, good, it's a good question. L let me explain, okay? You know what? This is a better way. When the priests of Israel committed the sins of idolatry, the temples of God were destroyed. And an idol of evil has been set up ever since. You know, in Pyongyang, the capital of North Korea, at one time was considered the Jerusalem of Asia. And the church, Jang Daehyun, was considered the center of revival at that time. But now in that same very exact spot, there is a statue, an idol of Kim Il-sung. Do you understand why? Servants of God committed sins of idolatry. Exactly. Now, some of those servants of God, they were victorious and they were martyred. My grandfather was actually one of them. But most of the servants of God, they rebelled and they worshipped the Japanese idol of Sinsa. And they compromised their faith. In fact, throughout history, the Korean church has never thoroughly repented for their sins of idolatry. And that's the main reason why there's division in Korea right now. Even today, the Korean church still worships gods like materialism, selfishness, worldly things. It's not only corrupted the church, but it's corrupted the society around them. And it's the main reason why I believe there's going to be another trial of war in the Korean Peninsula. So you're saying that the church is the cause and not the northern regime? What I'm saying is that this is the principle of God. That when Israel was corrupt, the enemies rose up against them. But when Israel repented and turned to God, those enemies disappeared. I'm so ashamed. I've been so spiritually blind. Don't be ashamed. Esther, you have the hope. Thank you. How is everybody? They're all okay. What did you find out? I believe I stepped on the tail of a satanic force. I didn't know evil was this real. What should we do now? Keep hiding until further notice. to reality. I must inform you that your arrest is due to interruptive actions to world peace. However, if you can answer these questions truthfully, you can walk away alive. First, where is the CD you received from Watanabe? Second, who are you transferring the information to? Third, what is your relationship with Watanabe? And fourth, who is behind your journal? First, you are kidnappers and murderers. And second, you have the wrong person. I don't even know anybody named Watanabe. Damn you! We're not fools. We're the elite forces. Every single event that happens in this world, we see, we hear, and we know to the smallest detail. You got that? I'm not a fool either. 
I know you're not going to let me go, even if I tell you the truth. So why don't you offer me a real deal? You stupid idiot! start again? You're all fools. I'm in journalism. Don't you think I already have a protection plan set up? If I'm not back in 24 hours, you'll all be exposed in every TV and newspaper in town. Tougher than I thought. Smart, too. But I know your people very well. No fidelity whatsoever. Masters of compromise and betrayal. It's sickening that your people betrayed your blood allies and adulated to China. And now you're paying the price. Yet your people consider yourself God's chosen ones to be the last runners of the gospel. What a big joke! Corruption and perversions are everywhere in your society. It stinks. You're all fakes. It's justice to enslave undesirable people like you. And now, you want to negotiate? Here is your choice. You can join our organization by implanting this biochip into your flesh. We all have it. All of humanity will have it. It changes the genetic nature of humans into a new creature. We will all be united into one world religion, one world government. It will be eternal utopia and Lucifer will reign forever. You can partake in this great mission. So, what do you say? I need some time to think about it. How much time do you need? 48 hours. No, 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 no. We are not that leisure. For our friendship, I'll give you 12 hours. This way, you can leave your new creature within 24 hours. Father, I didn't realize that spiritual warfare was real like this. Now I believe your words are all true. I remember during my Bible studies that whoever receives the mark of the beast will fall into the lake of fire for eternal torment. Oh Lord, I don't want to fall. Please help me. Save me. I believe that you want to teach me a lesson. And through this suffering, I will learn. I now believe that it was your divine will in my husband's case. I asked your forgiveness before I blamed you and I left you. Lord, I want to return to you. I believe you're the only source who can help me, who can save this world. I will dedicate the rest of my life to you if you would spare me. Please help me. Please save me, my Lord.
Would you like a cup of coffee? Yes, please. Thank you. Hey, I understand that you have the gift of interpreting dreams and visions. Did you receive a vision? I did, yes. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, in this vision, I see this secret room. And, and there's this woman I know. She's in this room, and she's begging for my help. She's pleading for my help. And, and I hesitate. I don't know what to do. And then all of a sudden, it, it's, it switches, and, and I'm asleep in this field of, of orange trees. And I wake up, and I'm helpless. I, I feel ashamed. I don't know what to do. And that was it. What do you think it means? I feel that she needs to be rescued. And it also hints the location as well. The location? Wait, wait a second. Where do we start? I mean, it's like finding a needle in a haystack. Maybe Orange Trees. I mean, Orange Street. Okay, or Orange Streets. Okay, right here, right here. Orange Street. Right here. Orange Street. It runs right through here. Okay, but, I mean, we need a cross street, right? Didn't you say you woke up in the field? Yeah, I, w I woke up in the field. Then it might be Wakefield. Wakefield? Wakefield, Wakefield. Right here, Wakefield. <laughs> he crosses Orange Street right here. Oh my gosh, okay. That's the location. That has to be the location. It's real. This is of the Lord. I know it. But I feel that it might be a dangerous mission. Song, I feel the same thing, but I have to obey. Listen. Um. You have to promise me something. You can't tell anyone about this, okay? You can't tell anyone. I won't. I'll support you with my prayers. wondering if I can get some more training from you. Wow. I saw you walking into the studio in my dream this morning, but I just thought it was a wild dream. Are you serious? What's wrong? You don't look so good. There's a mission the Lord wants me to carry out. Is it a dangerous one? I don't know. It might be. You're too important to take a risk. Let me take your place. No, no. Thank you, but this is my mission. The Lord's called me to this. I know he'll protect me. And no matter what, I have to obey. Well, take me with you. And Sean, too. Sean? Sean's my top disciple. Well, I guess when the Lord calls forth his soldiers, he lets both parties know, huh? Just like Peter and Cornelius. Wow. I'm so excited to be used by the Lord.
Esther, are you okay? Thank you. You can thank the Lord. I'm, I'm just obeying. I don't know why prayers would be answered so soon. Pull the car around now. Okay, come on, let's go. Let's get you out of here. I got you. Let's go. I got you. Come on. I got you. Let's go. Here we go. Come on. Easy now. There you go. in there, okay? Please, please don't die on me. Yeah, yeah you listen to me. Esther is going to be used for the great mission. Make sure she gets to the homeland safely. And ask the nurse, ask the nurse Anderson for help. And Esther, before the trial comes, a massive repentance has to happen in Korea. We must forget Japan if we want to be forgiven by God. I'll see you all in heaven. Keep fighting in the good fight. It's the Connor song. Oh, thank you for coming. You completed a week of festing. I bought you some food and more clothes. It's a miracle. I can't believe I fasted for a whole week. I couldn't even fast for one meal before. When you're filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, nothing's impossible. How is the funeral? It was glorious. Yet, the agents came looking for you. For the rest of my life, I had to live with the guilt that a promising young servant of God sacrificed his life for me. Please don't blame yourself. God has a greater plan. His ways were different from our ways. What should I do now? The scripture commands us not to worry. Leave everything to the Lord. For now, you should recover and eat. a typical example of the Laodicean church. I believe that I was blessed and rich, yet I was blinded, poor, and naked. We all are. The Korean church is deeply rooted in spiritual infidelity, serving two masters. They store up treasure in this world, but not in the kingdom of heaven. But it's hard to comprehend that Korean churches would have such passion for world evangelism. An unfaithful wife that serves her husband well is still considered an infidel. The church should be a pure bride of Christ and not a whore. Oh, heaven, my father. I didn't realize that we have committed such serious sins. We even compromised the pure gospel of heaven into an earthly gospel. We've been defeated in spiritual warfare and let the spirit of Satan ravage our land. 
Our sins are overwhelming. How can our sins be cleansed and forgiven? Cleanse us with the blood of Christ. Heal our land. Let us be a pure bride for Christ with no spots and wrinkles. Oh dear Lord, help us. Have mercy on your people.
this prayer mountain was built for protection, for a time of tribulation. They can be so persistent. Dirty infiltrated the police and the national security. What now? We contacted Senator Anderson. He's going to help you change your identity. Until you get your new passport, you'll be staying at the Messianic Jew's house. You'll be safe there. Thank you so much for everything. It's all for the kingdom of the Lord. Kimchi! Chancellor, 소망이 찾아옵니다. 그렇고 말고요. 간밤에 천국에서 아내와 아들을 만나는 환상을 보았는데 정말 너무나 황홀했습니다. 저희도 이 고난을 끝까지 이기려고 주님께서 동정 하늘의 영광을 보여주시고 내는데요. 어떻게 오늘까지 버틸 수 있었습니까? 저희가 가장 갈급한 건 하나님의 말씀입니다. 오랜 세월이 지나서 모두 모두 망각해 버리시죠. 말씀 그 천국에 관한 말씀 그 말씀 좀 전해 주시고요. 우리의 시민권은 오직 하늘에 있나니 우리의 시민권은 오직 하늘에 있나니 거기로서 구원하는 자 거기로서 구원하는 자곧 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 기다리노니 곧 우리 주 예수 그리스도를 기다리노니 그가 만물을 자기에게 복종시킬 수 있는 자의 역사로 그가 만물을 자기에게 복종시킬 수 있는 자의 역사로 우리의 낮은 몸을 우리의 낮은 몸을 그의 영광의 몸의 형체로 그의 하나님 아버지 한강의 기적을 일으켜 주셔서 경제의 불을 허락해 주셨으나 우리는 그만 세상과 버타며 신앙의 절기를 지키지 못하였나이다 이제 주님과 순결했던 첫사랑을 다시 회복하기 원하옵고 회개의 운동이 교회와 직장과 각종 집회의 곳곳에서 일어나고 있나이다. 그러나 한반도를 향해 덮쳐오는 연단을 멈출 수 있는 회개인 미치지 못할까 두렵나이다. 이번에는 새로운 영적 대부응이 일어나는 한강의 기적을 일으켜 주옵소서. 이 새로운 한강의 기적을 통하여 우리 민족이 하나로 통일되며 정결하고도 거룩한 제사장으로서 열방을 향해 나아가 전 세계를 주님의 품 안으로 인도하고 주님의 다시 오시는 제림의 책경을 예배해 드리는 사명을 감당하게 하옵소서. In the place of Minister Yoon, you too will be used doubly in an important way. I need your support in prayer. 
In order for the kingdom of the Lord to be completed, it is essential that the Gentile church pays back the debt of the gospel and grace to Israel. I believe that's why your people are chosen by God for the end of time. Yes. We receive so much blessing from others. It's time to give back. Especially me. The whole world is pressuring Israel to make a false peace. Under unavoidable circumstances, Israel shall give in and sign the seven-year peace treaty with the Antichrist. That'll be the beginning of tribulation. Isaiah prophesies that that's the treaty of death and hell. The tragedy is that most Gentile churches join with the world to pressure Israel to make a false peace. They don't understand that Yeshua is the only one that can bring true everlasting peace when he returns. This is the ritual to express our wish that the Korean churches spread only the pure gospel of Yeshua to our people and not the compromised message of the world. Thank you. You're not Esther anymore. You're Ruth now. Oh, okay. Ruth and Esther are both symbols of Christ's bride. You truly are blessed. I hope so. Ruth became the bride of Boaz with the help of Naomi. And Ruth paid back what she owed to Naomi so that they could share the inheritance together. It's a beautiful metaphor of the relationship between Israel and Gentile Church. But don't forget the real you. Esther is the one who saved our people from Haman. All right. I'll do my best to be with Esther and Ruth. <laughs> understand David's heart when he wrote Psalms. It is good for me that I've been afflicted, that I might learn the statutes. Yes, we all learn the truth through suffering. Well, now that we have hope for eternal life in heaven, I'm no longer fighting for the release of my husband. Instead, I will fight for righteousness and the kingdom of our Lord. Just like David, the shepherd boy who slayed the Goliath, our people will crush the evil so that we'll be ready for our Lord's return. And our nation and our people will never be divided again. It is written that we are already victorious in Christ. Yes. Fight the good fight. I'll see you in heaven. Yes. <laughs> 